teaspoon or a tablespoon? This is a teaspoon, right? You should just wait. Okay, we need to cut that out, definitely. That was terrible. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna take you guys through a regular day in my life. Um, I don't always eat the same thing. I always have a taste for something new. Um, whether that means I'm going to the store a million times to make it, or I'm like digging through things and um, trying to create a recipe of things that I already have. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not eating completely oil-free in this video. Um, there is a little bit of oil in like one of the things that I have, I think. Um, so if you guys want to see a typical day uh, for me, then keep watching. Good morning, you guys. I was in the car, but you could not see me at all. The lighting is terrible. Um, so I'm getting in the car this morning and we're going to Dunkin'. I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, um, there was a post of Starbucks coffee and I was like, okay, so which do you guys like, Starbucks or Dunkin'? And some of you guys responded with Starbucks. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get my favorite coffee and um, I will take you guys through a day of what I'm eating. So let's go. We are here. Just listen to some elevation worship. What's new? That's literally all I listen to right now. So I get the same thing every single time. I'm gonna be good this time and not order the hash browns, even though I really want them. We're not going to. Um, they have oil in them, and I'm gonna do my very best today to be starch solution, even though it's a Friday. <laughs> Can I get a medium iced um, oat milk latte with three sugars? Does anyone else do that with their chest stick when their face is dry? Just like spread it out a little bit. I need them to hurry up because this is my favorite part of the song. Thank you. Thanks, you too. You should just wait. Okay, we need to cut that out, definitely. That was terrible. Here we go. Iced oat milk latte with three sugars. I think I'm gonna go to the gym after this. Settles in my stomach, if you guys know what I mean. No idea. Oh, that's so good. It's so sweet today. This is what I'm talking about. It's usually sweet or like really sweet. The consistency of them here at Dunkin' is like always pretty much the same. If I go to Starbucks, it's like hit or miss. And if I'm paying someone to make my coffee when I can make this at home, it needs to be bomb every single time. So like this hits every single time. It's so simple. Iced coffee, oat milk, ice, sugar. Done. You know? I'm gonna ride home with all the windows down. Team windows down. Let me know if you guys ride with the windows down and the sunroof open. That's like the best thing ever. Um, one of these days when I become a real adult, I'm gonna buy myself a convertible so that my hair can just you know. Okay, I'll come back when I eat something. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so I, um, what happened since you last saw me? I didn't finish my coffee, there's like this much left. Um, I worked out and I'll insert some of that right here. I'm gonna run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind, pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by Okay, um, now I'm hungry. It's It's 2.54 and all I had this morning was that coffee that you saw and like a little bit of Gatorade. So I brought some broccoli down here and I think I want potatoes but I also want a smoothie. So what I'm thinking is I make the smoothie first and then make the potatoes later. Okay, I figured it out. I'm making the smoothie. You guys have seen me make this smoothie time and time again. There's a full banana at the bottom. I put mango, a whole bunch of spinach, um, some almond milk, and I normally put um, lime juice because it sets it off. But like, I found this in there. It's lemon, this organic lemon juice from Costco, so we're gonna try that because this is what I could find. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna blend it up and see 
how it goes. And then I'm definitely making some potatoes today because they're my favorite and broccoli. Okay, so let's hope this is magically delicious because I tried a different ingredient here. Not too far off, but you never know. Mm. Hi guys. All right, my hair looks insane because I just blow dried it um, and the air fryer's on. I'm making potatoes, um, so let me speak up. So I'm hungry, it's five o'clock, um, so the potatoes are over there. I already had some spinach, and so now I'm gonna have some celery. I'm just gonna dip it in my oil-free, fat-free hummus. Hopefully you, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, and I have some tortillas that I didn't use from the other day which I tried to make them into taco shells by just like folding them um, and it didn't really work out that well. So I'm probably gonna dip this in there as well. So um, yeah, I wanna talk to you guys for a second. Hold on, let me bring you over here, away from the loudness. I feel like we're crooked, but it's fine. So I wanted to show you guys um, a video today where I'm eating, um, I guess you could say like kind of at odd times. Um, every day is not like breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's just kind of like when I'm hungry. Um, whenever I have my coffee in the morning, like especially that huge of a coffee, it fills me up for so long, which is why I didn't eat until after my workout, which was pretty late in the day. Um, so I just wanna like be real open and honest with you guys. Like I don't sit down and eat three meals and have three snacks. Like it just kind of comes about and it like, it just happens like as life happens. So I'm hungry now, so we're eating, we're cooking. <laughs> I'm gonna snack on this um, and I am doing some reading so I'm gonna do that and then when the potatoes are ready when the potatoes are ready I will show you guys yummy I'm gonna show you guys the package too so that you can get them as well hopefully if there's a Kroger around you these are the hash browns that I get. That's what they're called, Southern style hash browns. Yes, and they're in these like little tiny chunks. Some lady, bless her soul, said to me, did you cut up those potatoes? Like, no, no, no. I do not have the patience for that. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients here. I really need to fix my hair, I'm like really embarrassed. But you know, this is just real life, okay? No makeup on, the hair looking crazy. There's the ingredients. Um, so potato. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I love Chick-fil-A and this Chick-fil-A sauce, they had it at Kroger as well. This is my favorite one. Um, and ketchup. This, I will say, we're not perfect. Throwing my hands up here. Um, this has some oil in it, which I saw at the last second. Soybean oil in it. Um, we're not gonna put a lot, but we are gonna put some on the potatoes. Um, these are what the golden nuggets look like. I feel like we're crooked. What is going on? Oh well. All right, this is what they look like. <clears throat> I'm so excited. Mm. Crunchy and delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy these. I already ate my celery. I think I have one stick left. So I'm gonna eat this as well. And then I'll come back when I eat something else. Hi guys, I know my hair was looking so insane in the last clip. I had to take all the braids down because my mom and I want sushi. Sushi, so going to get sushi right now. How rude, my music kept cutting me off. But, okay, so we're going to get sushi and I'll show you guys what I get at the sushi spot. Hi guys, I look insane, but you just saw the little clip of me getting sushi. I got the sushi, I secured the bag. Okay, so I got a, um, I guess like a seaweed wrap, white rice, tofu, mango, cucumber, and peppers, and then I get the sweet, um, the sweet soy sauce on top of it and then I dip it in soy sauce as well and then on the side on the side I got a cucumber salad with like some dressing it said it's vegan um, and I didn't even look to see if there's oil see sometimes I just don't even I just like blank on it I see that's vegan I'm like pew and get really excited so I got that and then I also got um at this place we go to you know they have those like really big containers of like mixed drinks that they like make it's not just like soda um, so they had a lavender lemonade um, with agave, and so I got that, and it's very good. So I will take you guys upstairs and show you all of my yummy food. I do want to make some sort of cookie or dessert 
brownie something tonight. Um, I've had like the biggest sweet tooth and I always am reaching for something and it might not be like the greatest thing, um, but I prefer if I make it because then I know what's in it. So hopefully tonight I will get to that, if not tomorrow, and I'll put it all in the same video for you guys. So guys, let's go. It's really late. Okay, it's really early, I guess, in the morning. It's 1 a.m. Um, and I'm just drinking some tea and I'm gonna read and go to bed. I did not make anything sweet. So that will be my goal for you guys tomorrow and then we'll chat and end the video there. So these are supposed to be biscuits and they kind of look like a cookie maybe. My mom said they were like scones. So we're just gonna go with it until it tastes delicious. I also made some potato soup. Good lighting. Hi guys. Okay, so we've reached the end of the weekend. You guys saw me making biscuits, I believe. They turned out to look like cookies, kind of, um, but they tasted kind of like biscuits. They're a little sweeter. Um, they're really good, and they're from the book that we all know and love, um, and they're very good. I made some potato soup, and I'll leave the recipe below for you guys. Um, biscuits, and then I made brownies also from the book. They were very good. They were very rich. I used cacao powder, I'm pretty sure, instead of cocoa powder. Um, and they were like super rich, but they were really moist and good. Um, so yeah, I did want to tell you guys that I did finally weigh myself. I weigh 134 pounds. Um, I'm glad I weighed myself before I put all this hair in my head because that would definitely skew it. I'm gonna make some tea and um, get to bed and then I want to chat with you guys as always at the end of a video. So I will see you guys there. Hi guys, so we made it to the end of the video. So if you guys made it here, make sure you guys are subscribed. Um, this is the fun time of the video where I get to just chat with you guys. Obviously, I have my notes on my phone here. I have some tea here. One of the things I don't share with you guys a lot, um, but I do have like four of these huge cups of tea every day. Not because I'm like trying to flush anything out or anything, I just genuinely enjoy tea. Um, if you guys wanna see that in my next video, let me know um, what kind of teas I drink. Um, right now I'm drinking peppermint tea. This is one of my favorites. And then at night I have like my nighttime tea, um, which I think you guys saw in the video. So let's get into um, our little chat time. So as you guys can see, I finally did my hair so we don't look like a crazy person. I was editing the video and I was like, oh wow, I look insane. I was like really being open and honest with you guys there. It was just being really raw. 
Um, okay, so um, I said this already in the video, but I did want to say that I don't eat um, what you guys saw. Like I ate at like three and then five and then I could eat like two more times like right after that. Um, I just eat whenever, oh no, my camera's dying, hold on. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, um, I don't eat, like I don't wake up in the morning and eat breakfast at like 6 a.m. and then lunch at noon and dinner at 6 p.m. I just kind of eat whenever I'm hungry, stop when I'm full, and make sure I drink a gallon of water a day. Um, he doesn't recommend that in the book. He talks about, um, I guess, like drinking when you're thirsty and then something else he said. Uh, I can't remember. If I can find it in the book uh, before I... Um, upload the video I'll let you guys know but I can't remember what he said about drinking water but he doesn't recommend a gallon it's just something that I've been doing um, something that my body really likes my skin um, if I don't do it it breaks out like right now it's like kind of struggling um, because I haven't been doing that so um, yeah I don't eat at like do 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 I just eat whenever I'm hungry and some days it looks like um, when I wake up at a normal lunchtime and normal dinner but most days it's just kind of like whenever I'm hungry um, okay so I try to make a video for you guys of a full day of me eating potatoes <laughs> or no a full week excuse me of me eating potatoes and we'll just like roll some of the clips of it it was just like a mess and I got bored of it so let's roll that so for this week only I am going to be having potatoes only I'm going to be eating potatoes for breakfast lunch and dinner to the best of my abilities I the best my abilities. Come on, Jim. Okay, so I don't know if I can do a full week of just completely eating potatoes. Um, I had like, I think I probably had like one potato, two potato, and then by the time it was dinner time, I was like, ooh, tacos sound good, you know? Um, so if I had to, if I really could, I would. If you guys really wanna see me do it and like really be creative, it'll probably take me a minute so I can come up with some things that are gonna spark my interest enough for me to keep doing it um so let me know if you guys want to see that video i will make it happen if you guys really want to see it you guys saw that i made two recipes from the starch solution i got the book and left it all the way over there okay so um i made his biscuits and i made the brownies so i just want to talk to you guys really quickly about the brownies and the biscuits so the biscuits um kind of turned out into cookies for me i can show you guys a picture of what they looked like actually i got that on video so you guys saw they like, kind of look like splat when i put them on there and then they like spread out so much and they look like cookies but the taste oh it was so good there was one ingredient called let me get the book Reading. Here we go. Sun Sweet Lighter Bake. I have no idea what that is. So I had to Google it, and then I guess it's an oil replacement that I didn't have and I couldn't find at the store. Um, and so that's like I think one of the main differences in mine. I just put applesauce um, instead, and they were really good and really sweet. They were sweet. They're not like biscuits like you would get at like KFC or something. Um, and that's kind of what I was going for, but they taste really good anyway with the potato soup that I made. And I will put that recipe in the link below because it's not a specific recipe that I found. It's like two recipes and I kind of meshed it together and then made my own thing. It was really good. Um, that's on my Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me over there, make sure you guys go do that. Um, because I post there daily. Um, so the biscuits, I would say like a 9.5 out of 10. They were really good. Um, they just weren't like that fluffy like biscuit texture that I was really hoping for um, but they still taste really good I still have some I just had some soup and biscuits um, before I came on and it's amazing and you know the soup tastes better the second day so it was really good um, as far as the brownies go they were also really good I think it needed the sun sweet the sun what is it called sun sweet lighter bake and I just put in there um, applesauce as well and then it calls for this energy egg replacer I just used the follow your heart um, egg replacer and it worked just fine 
Um, so yeah, that was really good. And that was pretty much the only thing. I didn't have add nuts in there, but I think it would have tasted really good if I had the nuts in there. I don't think I got any of that footage, so I really apologize. If I make them again, which I probably will, um, I will record those for you. They are a surprisingly like 9.5 out of 10 as well. Um, the texture, they're so rich and they're so um, dense and but they're also really moist so they're really good i added some chocolate chips in there they're very good so highly recommend those i love making the recipes from his book and including them in the videos for you guys so if you guys enjoy me making his recipes please let me know and i'll continue to make them in my videos for you guys and rate them because that's important okay so this is the hummus i already got some questions about this on my instagram I posted it on there as well. I got this from Whole Foods. Honestly, you guys, I feel like we could all make this at home and it would be cheaper because we know Whole Foods is a bit pricey at times. Steamed chickpeas, sea salt, roasted garlic, citric, citric acid, cumin, and some kind of gum. So yeah, you can definitely make this at home and you, and you wouldn't have that gum in it. So I should make this in my next video. I should do like a healthy snack video. That seems like a good idea. Because, you know, like when you want to reach for something and you want it to be healthy and oil free. So yeah, I should do that and make a snack video for you guys. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Um, but we can all make this hummus at home and it'll be cheaper. Oh, okay. So um, I know coffee. He discourages coffee and he encourages tea. I love my teas. I would say I drink um, coffee like or tea eight times out of ten. Um, coffee is just like something rare. I used to have it every morning. Um, so with that being said, my Dunkin' coffee I loved so much. You guys saw the joy in my eyes when I got my Dunkin' coffee. Um, let me know if you guys tried that. I posted it on my Instagram and some of you guys let me know already um, if you're team Starbucks or team Dunkin' and let me know which ones you guys like. Um, obviously he discourages coffee but I'm not going to just throw away everything that I know and love. Um, and so yeah, I know and I love my Dunkin' coffee and so I'm not really willing to give that up 100%. Okay, so um, my closing comments are going to be, I love hearing from you guys. Um, I love when you guys share your success in the comments below and then we can all cheer you on. Um, and even if it's not a crowd of people cheering you on, it's me cheering you on. Um, I am your accountability buddy. Um, so I am your accountability buddy. I am your cheerleader. So um, keep sharing down there below um keep encouraging each other keep sharing tips and things like i know i learned from them and hopefully other people um will see the comments as well and learn as well um so we were talking about the engine too and a lot of their stuff is sold out on their website so i will keep going back to there because i really want to try the cereal they have pizza kits over there as well um so i need to get some of those things in and try it so i love you guys i'm here for you guys um i love talking to you guys in the comments so make sure you guys leave a comment below and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.